All right, my friends, welcome to this tutorial. We're gonna show you exactly how to install Friend Connector inside of your Chrome browser so that you can use it on Facebook to be able to build a targeted list of friends that have similar interests and things like that. You could promote your business opportunity to them. Maybe you can network with them. Uh, a lot of different things that we can do uh, with this particular application and its function. So uh, the first step will be to install it in your Chrome browser. And as you can see here, if you clicked on the link inside of the email that you received, you will see this particular screen. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on add to Chrome and give it just a moment here. You're gonna see this box pop up. It's gonna give you a, basically tell you exactly what friend connect connector can do. It can read and change all of your data on websites you visit. This is actually targeted more specifically uh, toward Facebook than it is anything else. We're just gonna go ahead and choose add extension. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna pop up right there inside of your extension. You should see this, this notification saying that the extension was installed and you should see the icon, which is the infinity friends right there. This particular board, bottom portion of it right here, uh, you don't need. You probably won't see that. If you do, uh, it means just all that means is that you have multiple Chrome accounts, uh, very similar to what I do. Just go ahead and click on that little X right there in the top, and that's it. That's the whole process in installing Friend Connector. Now let's go ahead and show you exactly how to use this with your Facebook account. Okay, so here we are inside of my Facebook account, and you can see that we have our friend connector icon right up here. Uh, I did have to change browsers, so that's why it does look slightly different than the previous version. The previous version was just a, a plain Chrome extension or Chrome browser that gives you the opportunity of being able to see exactly how it would look when we install the application for the very first time. So now what we wanna do is make sure that we log into the application. All you need to do for that is just simply click on it here at the top and you will place in your email address that you use to purchase Friend Connector uh, from wherever it is that you purchased it, whether you purchased it from Elm Connect or you purchased it from any other uh, vendor who has the opportunity of being able to resell uh, this particular application, uh, this is where you would add the email address. So if you purchased it from Elm Connect, basically the email that you received, uh, the, the, the link in, uh, is the exact same email that you'd want to place inside of here. So what we're going to do is just going to log in. Okay, now that we are logged into our application, you don't notice anything different going on here on your Facebook page, nor should you, uh, but you will see up here that we are logged in. So when we open this up, it's going to say delete pending friend, uh, delete any pending friend requests on the condition uh, that you do have pending friend requests inside of your friend uh, list there. So if you do not have any there, what you're going to see here is, oops, looks like you're on the wrong page. Okay. So just don't let that uh, warning scare you. Uh, it's just basically how the application itself works. So what we need to do is we need to navigate over to a group. I personally prefer to use high quality groups, groups that are, that are moderated by um, really strict rules so that we have people in those groups uh, that would be of what we consider to be quality people that we'd want for friends on our friends list. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go on over and navigate to a group so that I can show you exactly how this application will work for you, at least from a more simplified level. We'll get more deep into some of the strategies and additional trainings in future videos. So basically I'm gonna go here to Consulting Accelerator. I personally am a member of this particular community and this community has uh, right around 16,583 entrepreneurs just like us in it. It is actually a vetted community, which means uh, the moderators in this community are very strict on who they allow in. And these people have all uh, made a purchase of a course that is $2,000 or more. So all 16,583 members here are willing to invest in their business and themselves. And that's the type of people that we would like to have as entrepreneurs and our friends list. So what I want to do is just cruise on over here to where it says members on the left hand side. If you just go ahead and open that up, it's going to give you a list of all the members in this particular group. Now manually, you can go down and just add them one by one. Um, that's an option. You might get carpal tunnel, but that that's an option. Now with friend connector, what we do just simply open this up and you'll see that you have a different screen here, which is really cool. So here at the top, you're going to see the lookup interval. You can see my settings here. So this is basically how I run the application. I use the lookup interval at three minutes. I request a limited number of requests. The number of requests is 100. And then I like to resume for my last search and I always start at member number eight. And then here in the keywords, I just leave this alone and I click the run button. So let's walk that, walk through this one time just so you can kind of get a bead on what's going on here. This is the lookup interval. When you drop this down, you'll see uh, between nine and 11 seconds. Never, ever, 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 ever do this uh, because basically what it's gonna happen 
is you're going to get put in what's called Facebook jail. You don't want to end up in Facebook jail because they don't allow you to send friend requests for three days and then longer and then longer. And then pretty soon they just banish your account uh, because they don't like you using automated tools to be able to use this particular process. Now, personally, I think it's a free world. So I think you should be able to request as many friends as you'd like. So we're going to do it anyways. Just make sure that we do follow a little bit of the training that we're going to share with you here so that we do avoid uh, getting our Facebook uh, accounts put into jail. Obviously, you don't want that to happen. All right. So now we have 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute. I like three minutes, uh, five, 10 and 15 minutes. If you want to go with that, you can. I'm just going to go with the three minute mark because I personally uh, have been using that for a while now and it's been working out quite well. The number of requests, we're going to do that at 100. Uh, you can do as many as you want. Uh, personally, I never even let it run the full 100. Okay, so I, I between one, 300 uh, friend requests seems to be a pretty good sweet spot. Uh, personally, like I said, I never let this run long enough to get all 100 friends anyways. So what we're going to do is just go here and uh, resume from our last search. You might see something that looks very similar to this. So you want to click the, top, the yes option. And then right here, last search, I just like to use the number eight because what that's going to do is it's going to go here inside of this list and it's just going to count down eight people. And then it's going to start from the eighth person on the list. Okay. So let's show you what that's going to look like. Basically just come on in here. Keywords, we're going to get into that, like I said, at a little bit later date in another training video. So go ahead and click the run button. You will see friend connector in action down here in the bottom left corner. You'll see that the tasks have started running. Um, and then here you can see that Josiah uh, is currently uh, waiting for the timer to expire, meaning three minutes, the interval uh, is going to expire. And then the system is automatically going to add this particular person as a friend. Now, Josiah has an opportunity to either request or deny or ignore that particular friend request. And that's okay. That's how the application works. It's going to save us a lot of time and energy when it comes to being able to build up a solid targeted friends list on our Facebook uh, profile. So this is a really good way to be able to do that. Hopefully that makes sense. And actually, actually you can see here, this is actually a really easy application to use. One thing to take into consideration here, you want to keep this tab open uh, in this window while it is running. You don't want to close it because it'll stop the application from actually running or, or not necessarily running, but running properly. Okay, so just let this go ahead and do its thing. When you're done with that, like I said, I personally never let it run the full time. So let's say, for example, we let it run for 30 minutes uh, and we can come back on up here. Right here at the top right corner, there is a power button. Just go ahead and click that power button and that's going to turn the application off. I personally like to click that power button and then refresh my screen because that generally speaking will actually stop the application from running. As you can see, it's, it's uh, requesting us to log back in uh, once again. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, comments, and or concerns, go ahead and log into your Evergreen Lead Machine account. Click on the bottom right corner where we have our support widget and that will help you get some support for this particular product. Have yourself a great day and we'll chat with you in the next video.